Hello Fable Pixel Connoisseurs, I hope you are having an amazing day so far. Welcome to the channel, my name is Hako. So, today I wanted to do a video kind of showcasing, you know, the versatility of Caesar King, the newest character in Zelda Zone Zero. And give you a little bit of a showdown of every freaking team that just got a massive boost by having Caesar in the game. So like we, we we have some we have some teams in the game that you know people have been running. It's been you know the meta teams. <clears throat> the strongest we had period Caesar King was Yendo, Seth, and then a support of your choosing. A lot of people went for Rina, especially if Rina was M1. Another one was on Ellen Carry, where it's Ellen, Sokaku, and Lycon. Other than that, we had the Sujentin or Juju N team. Sorry, I've been getting roast roasted in the comments about how I pronounce Juju N. Uh, which consisted of Jujuan, Xing Yi, and Nicole. Now, let's take a look at, look at every single team in the game and kind of how, kind of see how Caesar King fits into them. Yeah. done extensive testing like this has been my entire day like kind of switching in and out seeing does this team get better or worse with Caesar King in it and what you also need to like understand now is like I, <laughs> Caesar King can only take up one place on a team yeah so if we look at the Ellen team for example like Ellen carry where I've now put Ellen Caesar and Sokago I could as well have put out, uh, like taken out Sokaku, kept Lycon, and that team would still have been busted. I choose to do it this way because, like, my Caesar gives my Ellen 1500 attack, uh, and Sokaku gives Ellen another 1000 attack. Do you realize how ridiculous Ellen gets when you slap on 2500 extra attack on her? She gets very ridiculous, and Caesar King is a master at stunning. She's the king of stunning, if you will. Uh, so I chose to like bench Lycon. Also, this becomes a much more free-to-play accessible team. Uh, if we do, you know, do Sokaku instead of Lycon, since otherwise it's a team full of S ranks. And if you haven't spent money, chances are that you're not gonna have all of those units. And that's kind of the mindset I've had when I'm like restructured those te these teams. It's like I I, I want to make it you know as approachable and as usable to anybody anybody watching basically. So we have the Grace carry team, which now consists of Grace. Uh, Caesar King and Rina, and then like the Electro Boo. Now my Electro Boo isn't super level, and if you have Plug Boo, that's gonna be a better Plug Boo. But anything like, you know, weak to Electric is just gonna melt uh, to this team. Anomaly scales very, very good of attack percentage, or like, you know, attack in general. So like having an extra 1000 or 1500 attack for your Anomaly characters is gonna like lead to a massive increase. And for the Jane carry, like I said, her like the best team we had in the game used to be Jane, Seth, and Rina. Now I restructure it to Jane, Seth, and Caesar. And this team actually makes a lot of sense uh, because you're you're gonna be doing a lot of defensive assists. And Seth actually has a buffed defensive assist or like an assist follow up, which is the attack you do after you come in from a defensive assist. So, like, he actually works quite well together with Caesar. Now, Seth personally isn't my favorite character to use, but in a Jane team, a lot of times you need him to reach the 420 anomaly proficiency threshold. This required, like, you know, max out your Jane's crit rate on her assault. Uh, so I chose to go with this also once again to, like, you know, to make it easy and kind of accessible to people. Because I know very few people skipped on Jane, and it seems like very few people are skipping on Caesar. So chances are that you're gonna have all of these units, and if you pull for Jane, you're gonna have a Seth. Or you, you're most very likely to have a Seth. But Seth here could, you know, be exchanged for uh, Piper in some cases, which is a lot of team I've been running a lot, just simple, simple because I can, you know, I like Piper as a character. I think she's more fun to use than Seth. Not necessarily better in this team, but more fun, and then I can get access to Red Mokus, which has become my favorite bang move. And in the UGN team, now, this is the team I'm, I'm like, I'm most uncertain about. So, 
in this team, I've replaced Xing Yi with Caesar King. Now from my testing, it's kind of a null effect. Like my Caesar is very invested, it's an M6 Caesar. So I'm getting slightly better results with Caesar uh, than with my M0 Xing Yi. Uh, but that, that is to be expected. But like, had this been M0 Caesar, uh, this this wouldn't be a case. And for the Juju and team, I would say if you have Xing Yi, hey, don't bench her just yet and use her instead of Caesar in this team. But I was just to, you know, you know, constructing this way because this is still a very, very freaking good team. It's a very, very good team. And the reason you want Xing Yi is that she can like increase the amount of damage a stun unit takes by a lot. And Juju uh, additional ability allows her to do more damage to a stunned enemy. And we have Nicole here for her defense shred and the ability to get the full use out of her Resonable. And Nicole is honestly one of the handiest units to have in the freaking game. Then we have a personal favorite that um, I love and I run almost all content with. I have a video about like with me running the the Blitz mode on the highest highest difficulty. It's the Sons of Kalun's team. So it's Caesar, Lucy, and Piper and Red Marcus. This team is super fun and uh, I don't know. I just love it. Sons of Kalun has become my favorite gun faction in the game, and it, I don't know. It just feels good. And I love, you know, the little banter they have with, with each other when you switch in and out and whatnot. I just love it. I just love it. Uh, more, more of a meme, meme team. Obviously, it becomes more viable the higher invested your Caesar is because she's kind of the carry of this team. Another one we have is the Soldier 11. So we have Soldier 11, Caesar King and Kulida. Now, this is a very, very premium, premium team uh, in, in a way. Uh, but chances are, if you've been playing from the start, you've been pulling on every banner, and you might have lost 50-50 uh, to Soldier and to Kulida. So then you might have access to them, otherwise like they are a little bit in interchangeable. It's like, you know, you can slot in something else on Kulida's spot, like a Lucy would work very fine here, might even work, you know, slightly better. Uh, but we we've seen a nice boost to, an, a, a nice and well needed boost to Soldier 11 with Caesar King making her ar arrival and Soldier benefits a lot from Caesar. So this is definitely a fun team. I'm still... I'm still a little bit off to like, you know, being able to use my soldier properly. Because I've had a lot of a lot of other characters that's been needing building and soldier was the last S rank character that I actually managed to pull. Then we have the Anton carry, which as you can see, my Anton is still at level 10, but a very free to play friendly option for people that, you know, run Anton as a carry. He's still the only electric attacker we have in game. So it's Anton, Caesar and Rina with an electro boom. Now this team also works in like Rina can be switched out for mess, something else, something else. Uh, but yeah, if you're an Anton enjoyer, this is a good team to run with that. And then we come to another personal favorite of mine, which is a Corrin team. And I, I'm still gonna die on the hill that I think that Corrin and Caesar is related somehow. Because they look too much alike. And it would make sense then why Corrin is so super strong. And yeah, like if, if her backstory turns out that she used to be part of the Sons of Caledon, I think that would make a lot of sense. But after her illness, she couldn't, like, she could no longer keep up with, like, you know, being in outer ring, so she settled for a more peaceful work. But we'll see. Siron, Corin, Caesar, and Lucy. <clears throat> and everybody gets their passive activated since Caesar and Lucy are part of the Sons of Caledon. And well, Corin and Caesar are both physical. And Corin really likes, you know, having all of the extra damage that comes from this. Personally, I freaking love, uh, I freaking love Corin. I love using her. Is she the strongest character? No, but she's one of the most fun ones to use. Then we have the Nekomata team. Uh, Nekomata has been a little bit in the shadow since Jane arrived, since Jane kind of plays like Nekomata, but is like several times stronger. But a Nekomata team could very much look like Nekomata, Caesar and Nicole. And with a bang boom, if you are choosing, I choose to do, go with a revolver boom. If you have a million, that bang boom would also work here. So yeah, these are kind of the teams that are available. Or So my point with this video is you can take any freaking team in the entire game. You can pick out, like you can you know, pluck out one person from that team and you can slot in a Caesar and it will be the most king for your buck. It will be an improvement 
And this is why people are so excited about Caesar. This is why people were so excited. This is why people are pulling for her. This is why, this is why people are so happy with her. You have a unit that you can slot into every team, and we didn't really have that until now. So, have you pulled for Caesar? What do you think of Caesar? What team are you running Caesar with? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you feel like I made any mistakes? Do you have any additional teams you would like to, you know, suggest? Obviously, I could, you know, we could spend 40 more minutes here and, you know, I used to you go through every single constellation. But I thought I'd pick, you know, the most popular ones and just showcase how well she can freaking fit into those teams. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, super free to leave a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel. I put out sendless content every goddamn day. But thanks so much for watching. Until next time, hock out. She's a Netflix and a shot deep price Titties bounce and she's so tight They own the game, they like the night Titties cheeks, they steal the show And it's been shot, chase, tail and toe From the cell, some zero, they break free Titties cheeks, ruin her varsity Cheeks and titties, both in sync James had tails, ways made to think Across the streets, the law